What's going on guys? Today, a review that I've wanted to make for almost 18 months to the day. What is it? The Harbor Freight Icon Ratchets version 2.0. So if you guys remember back to October 4th of 2019, I shot a video on these Icon Ratchets. Um, they had just come out. I was probably one of the first people out on YouTube to make like an unsolicited review about these Icon tools um, because at that time, Harbor Freight was absolutely spamming um, tool YouTubers with free product in an effort to try and get the, the word out about these Icon tools. I'm saying, you know, some of these guys got, you know, toolboxes, full sets of tools, all kinds of stuff. Um, so I went out and I actually bought one myself back in 2019, like I was saying. And the results that I came up with were drastically different than the free reviews on YouTube, shockingly. Um, what was actually going on was these long handle flex head ratchets were locking up under hard use. And I was probably one of the first people to actually document what was actually going on. Not that that actually means anything, because I'm sure people would have found out about it eventually, but I actually returned my Icon Ratchets before the recall came out because they were complete trash. I hated them. About a week after my video came out, Harbor Freight issued a recall on the Ratchets that I reviewed in the video. So this is gonna be my review of the uh, version 2.0 Icon Ratchet. So uh, let's go over to the bench and dive into this thing and. See if it's any different than the last one I got. So taking a look at the two receipts I got on the screen, the one on the left is the original purchase from 2019. The one on the right is the one I just made a couple days ago in 2021. Um, the original price of this ratchet in 2019, as you guys can see, is $49.99. I also had a 10 off coupon, which, you know, RIP, no longer exists at Harbor Freight, and knocked it down to $44.99. And, uh, 2021, this ratchet is now $53.99 with no coupons available. So if you guys ever wanna know the price difference between an Icon Paperweight and an Icon Ratchet, turns out it's only about nine bucks, which when you put it that way, really isn't that bad of a deal. So taking a look at the packaging, um, it's pretty much the exact same deal as what it was 18 months ago. You still get the, uh, the free towel and the tool tray, you know, and obviously as well as the tool. So visually taking a look at this tool, guys, it's very similar to the uh, the ones that I reviewed 18 months ago. Um, honestly, I don't have the old ones that I reviewed previous because I returned them to the store, like I said. But uh, you know, just taking a look at this thing, as far as I can tell, it looks visually identical to uh, to what I reviewed in the past. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna tear this thing open and uh, we're gonna compare it to the old version that I had in 2019 to see what sort of changes they made inside the head. So taking a look at this picture I have on the screen, this is the 2019 uh, recalled Harbor Freight Icon Ratchet. So taking a look here, you know, just get an idea of what the Paul looks like, what the switch looks like and we'll switch pictures and we'll go to the 2021 version. So taking a look here, you guys can see there's a pretty distinct difference between the two designs. They completely redesigned the switch as well as the Paul. And uh, hopefully, you know, that's gonna alleviate the uh, locking problem that we had earlier. So Harbor Freight's main target with this Icon Ratchet has always been the Snap-on Ratchets. Um, this one is the same one I had in the previous video. I've had this thing over 10 years at this point and I've done literally nothing to it. Um, it just works. I, it is my main go-to ratchet. I pretty much use this thing for everything. Um, so as far as comparing the two, obviously you guys can see they're extremely similar. Um, even, you know, the shape of the switch is similar. Both the Icon and the Snap-on both have the part number down here on the bottom of the handle. So it's, it's pretty obvious who, uh, Harbor Freight is targeting with this ratchet. But uh, let's go over to the car and uh, you know start really torquing on this thing and see, does it lock up like the previous version? I really hope it doesn't. So going back to the video about 18 months ago, the way that I sort of you know stress test the uh, Icon ratchet was I put it on one of the lug nuts on my truck and basically just tried to tighten the lug nut. I understand this isn't the application for a 3 8 ratchet, 
Um, but when you're stress testing a tool, that's how you're gonna do it. Um, nobody really cares how it loosens a quarter 20 because you know, that's not really that hard on the ratchet. So the other common comment that I was getting was, oh, you should do that same test with your snap-on. I bet you your snap-on would lock up in the same situation. Guys, I'm here to tell you, I've owned this tool for 10 years. Um, and you guys are probably right. You know, I keep this thing in a velvet case. Um, I really don't abuse this thing at all. And, uh, you know, I only really bring it out for special occasions and, you know, glory shots and YouTube videos. I don't abuse this thing whatsoever. Huh. And it still works. Imagine that. So we're going to do the same test with the Icon that we did uh, 18 months ago. There is a considerable amount, considerable amount of flex in the handle, but uh, hey, look at that, still works. I guess uh, 18 months worth of research and development actually uh, gives you a working ratchet. Thanks, Harbor Freight. So one thing I've ran into with uh, using this icon, like if I, if I put this thing on a bolt and I really torque this thing down, and say put like 100 foot pounds on it, it really puts some ass behind it. If I pull it off the bolt, ratchet's locked up, it will not move. I don't know if this is a defect with the tool or what the problem is, but this is something that I've never had happen ever with my snap-on. Now, to break this thing loose, the only way that I've had success breaking this loose is basically put it back on a fastener and try to ratchet it again and it'll break free. So as you guys saw, I mean, this, this new Icon Ratchet, you know, definitely holds up. Um, you know, obviously I don't have 10 years worth of use like I do with the Snap-on to be able to say, you know, it's a, a, a great tool. But at this point, you know, my initial impressions, it's as good of a tool as a Snap-on for about a third of the money. If I was in the market for a Ratchet at this point in 2021, I don't know that I would buy either one of these. Um, actually, what I would buy probably actually be a set of gear wrenches, specifically the uh, the 120 XPs. Um, I used this one in particular as an industrial mechanic for uh, eight years, and it works great. Um, the other nice thing about these gear wrenches is you can buy the full set, meaning a quarter inch, three eighths, like I have here, um, a half inch, and a three eighths stubby. For less than a hundred bucks if you uh you know find the right place to buy them so they're far cheaper than these two and you can get a full set for uh you know basically double the price of the icon it's actually uh about 50 bucks cheaper than this one snap-on ratchet so if i was in the market for a ratchet at this point in 2021 there's nothing wrong with the icon there's nothing wrong with the snap-on they just wouldn't be my first choice. Honestly, I would go to the gear wrench. You know, back 10 years ago when I bought this Snap-on, the internet and Amazon and internet purchasing wasn't nearly as prevalent as what it is today. So if you wanted quality tools, you pretty much had to go to the tool truck to get them. Um, now in 2021, you know, obviously things have changed a little bit. So guys, that's my initial impressions on the Icon version 2.0 flex head ratchet. Um, I'll have a link in the description to the Icon ratchet as well as the Snap-on ratchet and the uh, Gear Wrench 120 XPs, you know, the, the full set of four for hopefully less than 100 bucks. Um, as always, guys, if you guys like the video, hit like. If you wanna see more content, go down and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.